Hey loves, so today is just me. We figured it will be easier if just one of us do the cost of living video. So I'll probably do this one and Darren do the next one. But this is our Romania cost of living video. We stayed in Romania for a month and a half, but this video would be just one month of expenses. So without further ado, let's begin. A few things to note. Um, in this video, we'll be talking in US dollars and this is for two people. If you want to tailor it down for one person, you would keep the same amount for accommodations and then you would probably half everything else. We plan to do one of these going forward for every country that we visit. So we'll create a cost of living playlist that you could find in the cars. So if you go on our channel and go to the playlist tab, you should be able to find the cost of living playlist to always refer back to after every country that we visit. So I'm gonna be looking down on my laptop from time to time to make sure I get all the figures right to you and I don't forget any of the sections. But we broke down our expenses into a few categories and these are the categories. We have day-to-day -day expenses, accommodations, groceries, dining out, coffee, which is mainly when we work at coffee shops, entertainment, transportation, food plans, and miscellaneous. So let's look at our daily costs. These are the items I decided to include in the day-to-day -day costs. If you have any other items you want us to include, you can leave them down in the comments. But for Romania, a liter of water was 59 cents. A cup of coffee, like at a cafe, was anywhere from 120 to 215. A bite or pastry at a cafe was anywhere from 230 to $3, and that would be like a slice of cake or a little sandwich or a little cupcake. A cookie, beer, like at restaurants and cafes or anywhere out, would run you like 350 whereas bear in the grocery store would be anywhere from like 75 cents to 95 cents. A meal for two would be anywhere from $10, so that's like fast food, to $30. You could also get like cheap eats, like just scrubbing stuff off um, like street food style. So whether that's like a pretzel, a Romanian pretzel, I'd say, or like um, a doner or a wrap or something, you could always find something a little bit cheaper as well. So you probably get as low as I'd say seven to ten dollars, but let's say in the comfort range, anywhere from twelve to thirty dollars for a meal for two. For day-to-day -day transportation, the bus was thirty cents each way or sixty cents for a round trip, and then a ride on the metro was around one dollar and twenty cents for a round trip ride on the metro. We also took um, a few trains because we went to the mountains, we went to Sanaya and we went to Brasov and the train prices ran us anywhere from $4.50 to $7 which is really good because the train rides are like 2 hours, 3 hours, 5 hours so pretty good. Now let's look at our monthly costs. We'd start off with our accommodation. We usually use Airbnb which if you want to sign for the first time, we have a link in our description so you can get some money off of your first day. Um, and with Airbnb, all the utilities are included. You may really find that some would charge extra for like power or utilities, but for the most part, I mean, they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> some of them do, but for the most part, everything is included. So that's um, power, internet, water. Some would even include um, extras like some may have drinking water available or they may have a little extra in the kitchen so you don't have to buy as much in terms of like salt or oil but overall i would say you'd expect it to come with at least the basic utilities so for us our airbnb was 744 dollars and 15 cents and we'll leave a link in the cards showing the tour of that airbnb it was pretty nice really close to everything. It was very close to the train station and it was a quick bus or metro ride to everywhere we needed to go. Now let's talk about groceries. For the most part, we like to cook a lot to save a lot of money. And Darian was a chef for 10 years. So we like to cook a lot <laughs> and we like to cook things that we miss. So sometimes we may cook Bahamian food or we may cook burgers if we want burgers or 
pasta so we don't really limit ourselves in terms of groceries we like to have a wide variety to avoid us from ordering out often or going out to eat often so our groceries cost us 360 which is pretty high but like I said um, we weren't really budgeting our groceries like that we just wanted to make sure we have enough food because we spend a lot of our time indoors getting work done and that also included stuff like bear water for the whole month um, because we didn't drink the tap water every morning we would go to the grocery store and get pastries to um, eat with our coffee that was really nice so that would that felt like if we were to go to a bakery or to a cafe we had an espresso machine in our airbnb so we were able to have really high quality um, coffee there so yeah for groceries we spent about 360 for the whole month so the next section I'll talk about is eating out because we spend a lot of time indoors and we only went out like to record or hand out. No, each time we went out was to record really to get footage for y'all. Because we spent so much on groceries, we only spent 160 eating out and that's like including alcohol, <laughs> appetizers, dessert, everything. So that's not bad at all. We paid 160 um, to eat out. As it relates to coffee shops or the section called coffee or cafes a lot of times we like to work from the coffee shop when we need a change of scenery or, we, or if we're having internet issues which wasn't a case in Romania because it has like one of the fastest internet connections in the whole world um, we only spent $11.93 and out of that I want to say two of those visits were um, paid for by our cousins we have a uh, buy me coffee link in the description below where you can buy us coffee since we usually like to work from coffee shops and um, my cousin bought us two coffees and I think Darian cousin bought us three coffees or it was switched but in any event one of our cousins bought us two coffees and one of our cousins bought us three coffees which really helped so Basically, they paid for the coffee that month because we didn't really go to cafes often because we had really good internet and really good coffee in our apartment. For entertainment, we just did free things, really, like walking around. We didn't go to any movies or anything, which we wanted to experience, but you know, with everything going on, we didn't want to figure out which movies were open or, you know, have to worry about that. So yeah, all of the entertainment we did was free, which was good. Um, so let's move on to how much transportation cost us. So for the whole month, transportation only cost us $20.24. Really low. <laughs> That's considering that we took buses, we took, um, did we take a taxi? No, we didn't take a taxi in that month. We took buses and then we took, um, Metro. So yeah, $20 essentially, $20.25 for the whole month in Bucharest. So let's talk about our phone plan. So for the whole month, we spent $14.39 and we got 56 gigabytes of data each. 56 each, which we didn't really need because there was internet everywhere and high speed internet. So we really only used it like in terms of getting from point A to point B. We use Google Maps all the time. And like if we're out and we wanna, um, like let's say we're walking somewhere and we wanna send a message to our family, that was basically the only time we used it. So. Yeah, 56 gigabytes is only like 720, so pretty cheap. So the last section in this main category section, I would say, is um, miscellaneous expenses. So this would be like one of expenses things that we don't really anticipate to happen in every country. And for miscellaneous, we only spend $1.92 and that was to buy some hydrocortisone cream that had antibiotic in it because I had an outbreak on my face. I don't know if you all noticed in some of the videos, which we'll link the whole playlist up in the cards for you to see our Romania videos. I had, um, yeah, like a skin reaction. I don't know what it was. It was basically like this very mild rash all over my face with like fine bumps. So we got the hydrocortisone cream and it cleared it up literally within like an hour. <laughs> so it was worth it. We went to a pharmacy. We just told them we needed some hydrocortisone and they gave it to us. It was only $1.92. Okay, so apart from those categories, I want to talk about 
extras, um, things that people may be wondering in terms of like visa costs, travel insurance, and um, how much we spend for like a VPN to keep us protected while we travel. Um, as it relates to visas, we didn't have to pay for a visa because we are Bahamian citizens. We did need a visa to go to Romania, so that was zero dollars. Travel insurance, I want to say we spend around $44 a month. I'll put the correct amount on the screen. We spend about $44 each per month, so that's around 80 something dollars um, that we spend for a travel visa, no matter which country we're in. And for VPN, we got a VPN for three years, I want to say, for about $36. I'll leave in the description who we use. We use um, Surfshark. So that's how we protect ourselves while traveling, especially if we're using like public Wi-Fi. We can just hop on our VPN to protect our data. And um, we also use VPN for stuff like watching Netflix so we can change our location and have good shows to watch all the time. So I'll put all the sections and all the totals on the screen. All together we spent $1,331.69. However, out of that, $758.54 were bills. So I decided to calculate how much this would be if it was just one of us and factoring in the full accommodation amount and half of everything else the total came up to $1,036.96. So remember, there are always ways you could lower this amount. You could spend less than we did on groceries or you could eat out less. Um, I know a lot of people who travel, they live off of sandwiches. If you just eat sandwiches or like simple meals, like probably salads or just one food group really to save money, you could significantly lower your expenses. But like we said, we like to cook a lot and we like to, um, Cook things that we're craving or things that we miss whether it's like Bahamian food or like American food or Asian inspired food so that's why we spend more on groceries but we don't always spend that every month some months we spend less some months we spend a little bit more on groceries just depending on where we are but yeah I'd say like for the average person if you don't cook as often and you just eat like simple meals you could probably make it off of like 900 because um the accommodation was pretty high it was like 750 really if you round up i'd say like you could make it off of 900 950 ish but that's not that far from like 1036 so yeah you might as well have a really good time <laughs> and cough up a, a little extra that's like what 80 dollars extra so yeah, that's it for our Romania cost of living video. Remember, this is one month in Bucharest. That's how much it costs both of us. And like I said, we weren't really budgeting heavily or anything. We just were going with the flow. We ate at home most of the time. We ate out when we were recording videos for y'all. And um, yeah, if you like this video, like it. If you like uh, this, these types of videos, you can subscribe for more. Leave a comment down below. Let us know um, what you want to see from us. And yeah, see you in our next video.